Last week on the CBC, one of Thomas Mulcair's star candidates, Linda McQuaig, said she believes we may need to bring in a moratorium on oil sands production, as in, stop it, pull the plug. And when challenged, she kept repeating herself. Here, take a look. A lot of people recognize that a lot of the oil sands oil may have to stay in the ground if we're going to meet our climate change targets. Linda McQuaig, are you suggesting that's what should happen? That it should the, stay the, in the ground some, in order the, to meet our climate change? That a lot of that oil may have to uh, stay in the ground. Are you suggesting that oil should stay in the ground in well, order to reach our climate it, change goals? Some of it may have to. Well, but Nicole, Nicole, Michelle all Rimple. I'm saying no, Linda, is that uh, yeah. we may end up in a position of having to leave it in the ground depending okay. on okay. what our environmental goals okay. Okay. Uh, I are. Climate change and I just clear. Goals De when I say McQuaig is a star NDP candidate, I mean it. Thomas Mulcair has said she would be a cabinet minister if he ever forms government. McQuaig is a millionaire in her private life, a super capitalist, but she's a Marxist when it comes to other people's lives. And that anti-oil thing she was doing on TV? Well, she only hates Canadian ethical oil. Here she is palling around with the late Hugo Chavez, the authoritarian military ruler of Venezuela. She idolized him and Venezuelan state-run OPEC oil, she actually wrote a big column in defense of him and how much she loved Venezuelan oil. She wrote that in the Star. McQuaig said Chavez was a saint. Here, let me quote. A feisty mix of Robin Hood, Che Guevara, and Michael Buble straddling the world stage. Robin Hood, eh? Chavez is estimated to have personally stolen $2 billion dollars from Venezuelan's state-owned oil company while much of his country goes without food. That, that's McQuaig, and it's been three days since her call for an oil sands moratorium, and Mulcair has not corrected her. She's not only still the NDP candidate and calling for the shutdown of the oil sands, uh, there's others too. Here's Trevor Peterson, an NDP candidate from Saskatchewan. Look at his tweet saying, quote, It's time to landlock Alberta's tar sands calling on B.C. Premier Christy Clark to block the pipelines. That's crazy. Well, no more crazy than McQuaig. Look, they're socialists. They prefer Venezuelan conflict oil to Canadian ethical oil. I mean, don't you appreciate their honesty? Uh, Rob Silver, a Liberal Party strategist, was having a good laugh at the NDP, having what he called a, quote, fantastic internal debate during an election, as in they were tearing themselves apart. Those NDP years who were pretending not to hate Alberta and those who just couldn't bother to hide their true feelings. Yeah, about that, though, here's a word-for-word -word identical comment made by a Trudeau liberal candidate from Burlington, Ontario, Karina Gould. Quote, it's time to landlock Alberta's tar sands with the same weird demand that BC's premier blocked the pipeline. Look, can, can we be honest for a moment? I mean, all of the parties, except for the Conservatives, hate the pipelines. I don't know if you saw the leaders' debate last week, but it was four-on-one. The debate moderator, plus Mulcair, and Trudeau, and Trudeau's debating partner Elizabeth May, all pounding away at the oil sands and pipelines and carbon dioxide against Stephen Harper. Their hatred for the oil sands is so visceral, it's truly weird. I mean, if you hated the auto industry or the mining industry or farming or fishing in the same way they hate the oil sands, people would genuinely say you have a mental problem. But look, this isn't, this isn't playtime. These are people who are asking for political control of the country, and polls suggest they might even get it. Last week, Thomas Mulcair fired another candidate who made extremist anti-Israel comments. Okay, good. But so far, he hasn't fired Linda McQuaig for, or Trevor Peterson or even asked them to correct the record. Same thing with Justin Trudeau and his anti-oil sands candidate, Karina Gould. By the way, if they win, they really will bring in a moratorium. They really will landlock the oil. If you doubt that, if you doubt that they'll act on their irrational hatred, well, just look at the devastation of the industry done in the past 90 days by Alberta's new NDP government. I'm Ezra Levant for the Rebel.media.